Hey, my fellow follicle frontiersmen, it's DJ from Keratin Brotherhood. In today's video, I'm gonna give you three tips to keep yourself centered so that you can reduce the impact of losing your hair. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Losing your hair sucks. Let's just get it out there. You know it, I know it, everybody knows it. And I know from personal experience, the hair loss can cause a lot of problems like depression and anxiety. So the first piece of advice I wanna give you is you need to find something to do with your time. I know this sounds really cliche, but let me clarify. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to just become a gym rat and hit the gym and get buff and swole because you think that's gonna make other people see you differently or make you forget that you're losing your hair. One of the things about humans that sets us apart from all of the other animals in the animal kingdom, we crave creating things. And when we are not creating something, we feel aimless. When we feel aimless, little things can begin to eat away at our self-image. When we start losing our self-image, that's when we can fall into the trap of things like depression and anxiety. You have to understand that happiness cannot come from other people and leave you feeling fulfilled. People begin to look for happiness in their partner. They begin to look for happiness in their friends. They begin to look for happiness in substances like alcohol. Look guys, I'm not gonna sit here and judge your lifestyle, but I, what I would like to challenge you to do is I want you to really sit down and think about what can you create? What is something that you could learn today that you didn't know yesterday? You know, what is something that the world needs that isn't there there yet, but it, there is a clear need for it. Creating something gives like the ultimate joy, the ultimate pleasure, which will help you deal with problems of things like hair loss. Because hair loss, it really can stifle and it can really stagnate a person. Okay, that loss of identity is a big hit, but if you're creating something, then you kind of buffer yourself from all of the negative effects that hair loss can have. If you're not sure about how you can create something, think about a skill that you wish you had, or think about some kind of trade that you want to learn, and YouTube searches that, man. Like, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. Google being the first, and Google owns YouTube. You can literally learn anything on YouTube today. If you are one of those guys that's like really depressed about losing your hair and you're not really creating something, go online and, and just search like how to use Adobe Premiere Pro or how can I you know, speak more confidently. The second thing I wanna challenge you to do is to, I want you to really analyze the people that you keep around you. Hair loss is a, it's a, it's a rough deal, man. And the only thing that can make it rougher is being around people that continually try to speak negatively about you losing your hair. Whether they tell you to just shave your head or Yo, look at you, baldy. Oh, bro, you're fucking losing your hair. Man, you get this balder the last time. I don't know about you, but if I hear you tell me about that type of person, I would say that that person, either one, doesn't have your best interests at heart, or two, is dealing with their own insecurities and they're projecting onto you. Misery loves company, rule number one. Analyze your circle of people that you keep around you, and if those people aren't pushing you to do better, to create something, if they aren't creating anything themselves, you know, you need to really start injecting positivity into your circle of friends. You know, find somebody who is doing better than you. Yeah, it's intimidating to really be in the same room with somebody who's really, you know, they're doing things. Like, if I was in a room with Gary Vaynerchuk, or if I was in a room with, like, Barack Obama, or if I was in a room with fucking Oprah Winfrey, dude, I would feel slightly intimidated. But at the same time, I feel so energized. It's this infectious positivity that you get from being around somebody who is doing better than you, is doing things that are greater than themselves. Just change one or two people that are in your inner circle. I personally had to like literally weed out and trim fat from my life. And I had to cut off people that, you know, they all they do is drink on the weekends. I cut those people out of my life. Or I had a lot of colleagues and coworkers who were just always like wet blankets, like negative Nancys. Anytime I come with some idea, they're like, oh, that's not gonna work. Or, oh, this, or oh, that. And it's never like, hmm, I never thought about that. Or, hmm. I like your idea, let's build on that. You gotta, you gotta cut them people from your life, man. They're like crabs in a barrel, dude. What's gonna end up happening is you're gonna wake up one day, you know, two, three, four, five years from now, and you have wasted time, okay? I have cut as much negativity, um, and in, in some cases, pragmatism from my life, and I have a very close-knit group of people that I trust, and we collectively lift each other up. While I'm with them, I don't even think about my hair loss. Like, I literally don't worry about the small shit anymore. And I'm not saying that you losing your hair is small, but compared to growing a company or compared to traveling the world or compared to sharing 
deep philosophical conversation with somebody who really connects with you on, on that level, you know, it, it kind of just it, it dematerializes into something that's not important anymore. And the last thing I'd like to challenge you to do may be a bit ambitious, particularly if you're one of those people that don't have the financial resources to do it, but it is possible. And what I really recommend you guys to do is to travel somewhere outside of your country. This goes for any of you that are watching the video, but specifically for guys who live in the United States. I've been living in South Korea for six years, man. Uh, I'm an American. You know, I'm from America, from deep south, New Orleans, Louisiana. One thing I can tell you about Americans is that um, even though we value individualism, at the same time, we have a very collectivistic way of thinking. Like society and the media really has a, a, a deep impression on the way that we operate. And so when it comes to things like hair loss, for example, people, I don't know why, but there's this stigma about hair loss. There's a stigma about guys wanting to do something about their hair loss. In Korea, like people don't talk about you. People don't sit there in, in, in your face and tell you, yo, bro, just shave your fucking head, man. Yo, yo, you look, you, you get more and more bold every day. Like, they, they, they don't talk like that. Like, coming here was like eye opening because, you know, I've been, I was surrounded by people like that. Like, especially in the military, like, we're just fucking, sometimes we're just rude, man. You know, being surrounded by people who are always criticizing you. It's, 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 it's dude, Americans, we criticize everything. We criticize each other. We criticize the weather. We criticize how long the line is. We criticize the shoe fucking got wet. We do. We find, reasons to complain and criticize everywhere. But it's not like that in other countries. It's not. And by traveling the world, you can actually open up your, your mind and see that in the States, maybe hair loss is a big deal, but in other places, you know, it's, it's really not. Once you're able to reframe this, this hair loss journey that you're on, it begins to kind of lose its power over your life. You know, save your money, save your pennies, and just choose a country on the globe and just go. Is hair loss going to be the end of the world for you? No. You're going to be so busy doing other things and and, and, and sleeping because you're so tired from from hustling. There's no energy left for you to spend on worrying about your hair loss. As always, my name is DJ, founder of Keratin Brotherhood. I'll see you guys in the next video.